A lot of people have been asking me to cover this. There's a 25 page article. Matchmaking series. Call of Duty matchmaking is a complex and multifaceted domain. In this document, we'll discuss the topic of skill in core matchmaking, its implementation, and how we observe positive results from the fine tuning of skill in the matchmaking algorithm. There's a lot of other stuff that they cover in here and there's a lot of things you could take away from it and extrapolate. And I did read it essentially the TLDR was people didn't like the video game as much and got frustrated and stopped playing when they didn't have skill based matchmaking. And yeah, it probably doesn't surprise anybody not enjoying skill based matchmaking is like the antithesis to a fighting game. The whole purpose of fighting games is fighting people your skill constantly, right? Like the iron sharpens iron, you want to fight the best people possible and like fight against people who are near your skill level, you improve, they improve. It's like a whole thing, right? There are people who do that, though. There are people who in Guilty Gear Strive who are celestial players, which is the highest floor, who go down and play like floor 10 players. Just so weird. I don't really get it at all. Like if you go to the park or something, sure, like in Street Fighter, in the battle hub, you run into players who are like bronze or rookie or like new and you run into master players in the battle hub right like it could be any skill level but it's the battle hub like that's kind of the point right is like you walk through and like you're like oh shit that person's on a big ass win streak let me go plant people don't like it when you smurf in other games kind of but people love watching people crush when they're smurfing in fighting games like you beating up somebody else while smurfing is like people think you fucking are a loser like in fighting games you don't really make and one mixtapes where you like smoke the other person with six stuff in like a montage. You can make highlight reels for fighting games, but you just do your sick shit against other people who are good. There's like league YouTubers who I see where every time I see them play, they're on like a new account with low MMR for the YouTube to be like, look at this sick gameplay from X champ. This champ is broken, but it's like actually just someone who's like high diamond or something bullying people who are like silver. You could probably play any champ and do that and like have a lot of success. Unranked to the highest rank in the game is really popular too. When I play every character to master, it's like not by deranking my account to bronze on purpose or something, right? I did it by playing my placements, placing to the highest thing you can place, which is now diamond five, which means I hit master in like an hour. And I think that's like more interesting for most people than like me playing someone who's bronze and literally has never played Street Fighter ever. Like imagine me playing as someone who's bronze and just literally doing scissor kick over and over with Bison and they can't stop it. It's exactly what I did to master players, okay? Like it, it would be so much worse. But in other games like in Valorant, having a smurf on each team is like not that uncommon. Their name is just something completely stupid and you can tell it's not their main account and they have like no skins and they're just dropping 30, 40 kills in a match because they're smurfing. It's like really common. In fact, every time a streamer or person plays, they go, oh, should I get on my smurf or should I get on my third account? Everybody just does it. And I'm like, what the? Smurfing culture is really popular in other games. It's not really that popular in fighting games. Great comment in the chat never played tekken 8 i'd take it okay in tekken they actually changed the matchmaking to prevent this kind of stuff from happening the way tekken works is whatever your highest ranked character is all of your other characters will rank up to some rank a few ranks below it right then the thing that they did is they made it so that the tekken rank is not based on your rank it's based on your prowess i mean can you make new accounts sure but generally compared to other games most people in fighting games do not smurf it's much more likely the person you're playing against looks like they're a smurf but they actually suck in like ways that you just don't know because it's Tekken. That is way more common. Sometimes I'll play against someone in Tekken. I'll be like, wait a minute, this person is so good. And then I'll realize that they literally only know how to do one thing. So then you stop that and then they literally can't play the game anymore because it's Tekken. And like, that's kind of how the game is. This cosplayer is like wave dashing at me and shit and like doing all, and I'm like, wait, this guy's sick. I do like a two hit string and he mashes and dies. And then I do like a mid into a mid and he mashes and dies. Then I do like anything and he can't block and punish or do literally anything besides wave dash. And I'm like, oh. He actually sucks a lot. So like when 2XKO comes out, I've been thinking about this exact problem. Because what happens when like Saikuno is like, I want to learn 2XKO, like I'll go play with Seijam. So then I'm like, all right, I'll queue up with you, Saikuno. I hop on my Riot video games account. My MMR is like Challenger or, or Master or Grandmaster or something, right? And he's like, I, I don't know what the buttons do. Like what, which button is the attack button? Oh, our opponent's name? What is that? Sonic Fox? Like, yeah, we could fight this guy, right, Seijam? And I'm like... It's so fucking over. Like, we are so dead. Because, like, on one hand, I could just be like, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> or I could make, like, a new account and, like, only play it with new people and, like, try to help them. Or, like, I don't know how you fix... Like, I don't think there's a good solution, really. Why is Saikuno playing with a guy named Timmy Timewinder? Who's Carl Chronobreak? Who's this Wally Windwall? What is he doing here? I don't know. Who is Timmy Timewinder? Timmy Timewinder.